Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 17th of August. And as usually on a Friday, I'm going to look for a longer term swing on the weekly time frame. But first of all, our members get stocks signals every single day. And in our members area, they get to choose from potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily, the 60 minute time frame. Potential short fifth wave trades on those same time frames and also stochastic longs and shorts on intraday. I'm going to be looking for longs today on the weekly time frame and in the members area. I remember simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Today's spreadsheet looks like this. And I'm, again, I'm concentrating on the weekly. I'm looking for a longer term swing. And then every now and then I go and relook at all of those I've been putting over on a Friday. So today I've chosen Marriott International. I've been looking at this for a while, waiting for a pullback. And it's happened. We're early days, but we're going to have a look at this on the weekly time frame. So first of all, uh, as usual, nowadays, I'm going to use two of the platforms. Uh, first of all, Ninja Trader. NT8. This is our Elliott Wave indicator suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader platform, and this is Marriott on the weekly. I just want to give an overview of the actual trend that we're looking at at the moment. So back at the beginning of 2016, we've got these lows. I've isolated the lows there, and our Elliott Wave indicator suite has given us the automatic count, the waves one, the two, the three, and the wave four. And that's what we're really interested in. That wave four pullback. So let's have a look at this in more closer detail on the think or swim platform so this is the same Elliott wave indicator suite on the think or swim platform all I've done is uh, you know let me just zoom out it's the same trend okay exactly the same trend got the same uh, wave count but I have just zoomed in so we can talk about the filters initially for the stock scanner membership and then also look to set this up so first of all the main filter is we've had a, a pullback against the main trend the fourth wave if you like and uh, that fourth wave has found initial support in the green zone of our high probability pullback zones so if it does find support here and starts to move away we've got an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and hit our wave five target here about 160 dollars the next is uh, more of the behavior of that wave four in that the 535 oscillator down here, the, the first of the two subcharts, has pulled back between 90 and 140%. As you can see, that's in there right now. Uh, then, thirdly, our stochastic, the bottom subchart, we've got it. If we just zoom out a little bit, we've got these yellow lines at the top here in the overbought zone. These denote a really strong bullish trend. And when we pull back against that trend, and we cross over in the oversold zone the likelihood is we want to return to that main bullish trend and that's what we're seeing at the moment now as I said right at the beginning this is early days with this week we've actually formed a new wave for low this is the the candle for this week now we're forming a bullish harami here with last week's really big red candle so if this can hold this week and we get that higher high higher low next week we're looking good for another move up but we've got to be sensible with our entry here we've had this situation previously and it failed after a few weeks so we want to make sure we're above this pivot level here for an entry so first of all our stop loss is going to be below the, uh, the low of this week and that is around about 118.86 and then our entry has to be above this rejection, this failure to move away from this green zone. OK, now at this point, we've got an entry of 134.52, which is outside of our 6.4 moving average high as well. This green moving average on our Elliott Wave indicator suite. Now, this previous attempt was not an entry because we only enter when we get when we've had the wave four pullback into our pullback zone. And also, we go out of the 6.4 moving average high in our indicator suite here. Now, this green moving average was way, way away from here. So this was not an entry, just for those that are unsure. Now it's pulled back deeper. We can enter above the 6.4 moving average high, way above and above this high. So we've got that entry 134.52. The target's around 160. So with this very conservative entry strategy, we have a risk to reward of 1 to 1.64 Marriott. 
on the weekly time frame this is a longer term swing and it can take anything up to six months to hit target especially in these volatile times so be prepared if you're trading options you need options a long way away or physical stock you are looking for this to take at least six months this is a longer term swing guys okay so that's it for today have a great training day a great weekend and I'll speak to you all next week